Hello and thank you for choosing Paul Sherry RVs in Piqua, Ohio. Today we're going to be having a look at a late production 2020 Forest River Cherokee. Uh, this is a 264 DBH. Uh, these late production 2020s, this is what the 2021s are going to look like in the spring. Uh, the way to tell them from the outside, it will have the double wide blue stripe here instead of the single wide like those other ones down there. Uh, and then there's uh, some cool changes to the inside, which we'll see here in a minute. Uh, this coach has two entry doors. Uh, the main entry door is down there. Uh, that goes right into the, the living room. This entry door goes directly into the master bedroom. Uh, we've got some storage here that goes two-thirds of the way through, butts up against the water heater, uh, and then goes up underneath the bed. We've got four manual stabilizer jacks. Good thing about the manual ones is you put them down independently. Uh, just use an impact wrench or a cordless drill. The electric jacks only go down two at a time, so they're kind of a pain in the butt to level. Uh, we've got the shingled uh, rolled aluminum cap here, which is nice. We've got a 220 pound LP tank, so you can get these filled up or uh, swapped out nearly anywhere with a power tongue jack. Come around here, here's the water heater, six gallons. It's gas and electric. Outside shower here with fresh water and city water connections. Walk around this slide here. Uh, there's one slide on this that has the uh, U-shaped dinette and the sofa. We've got a black tank flush. Uh, so there's a little wand inside the black tank, which is your toilet water. Spins around, kind of like a dishwasher. Uh, sprays out all the, well, toilet water. So then um, the sewer outlets are right here. There's 30 amp power hookup. This has a fold down rack, hold up to 200 pounds. Full spare tire. Also got a mount here for a reverse camera around here to the side We've got uh, two corner bunks inside uh, right here this is underneath the bottom bunk all storage tons of storage here We've also got the leash latch so you can hook your uh, fur babies up this has the nice solid steps go up uh, for this main entry door they snap right into the frame there when you're when they're not in use so they come all the way down to the floor then we have uh, outside kitchen here little basin you can fill up with water here's an outside uh, shower that you use to fill that up two burners fridge and an ice maker two outside speakers and a spot to mount a television a big power awning goes up over the main entry door it does have an led light strip that runs across the bottom of it we'll have a look inside when you walk in, bathroom's straight across from you. So that's nice. People need to use the restroom. They're not walking all down through the living room. Uh, we've got two corner bunks. They both have power outlets and USB ports. Here's the bathroom. Nice size bathroom. Big shower, toilet, sink with storage underneath and storage up above. There is a blind for that window. Got the kitchen here in the corner. It says the new uh, gunmetal sink with the black gooseneck faucet pull out cabinets up above microwave the graystone um, hood vent here to match the black with the graystone uh, oven there then we've got a 10 cubic foot furion uh, 12 volt refrigerator this runs just off of the batteries uh, the battery is going to be recharging whenever you're towing the vehicle the battery is going to be recharging anytime you're plugged into shore power so uh, standard fridge and travel trailer six cubic foot this one's 10. you can see much deeper than what's in most campers awesome fridge we've got pantry here on the side where your television goes mounts right there on the wall we've got an am fm uh radio beneath it uh this does have bluetooth so you can stream all your music from your phone or whatever uh wirelessly we have 5200 btu fireplace so that's going to get hot enough to heat this entire trailer so uh, this does have a furnace but you're not going to have to use the furnace to uh heat the trailer you can use that and not use your propane we've got a large uh, u-shaped dinette here make down into a big bed these drawers are three and a half feet deep Go all the way back that's on both sides We've got usb ports jackknife sofa that will lay down into a bed and then these are some new blinds here they call these zebra blinds so you can let a little bit of light in or you can black it completely out let a little in they're, they're pretty cool i've actually never seen anything like this before but uh yeah it's got the zebra zebra blinds um 
I up here to the, uh, it's the master bedroom. Got storage on both sides, closets, cabinets run up above. Got USB ports and power outlets on both sides. There's that other entry door. Spot here for a TV, hookups. And then you've actually got a closet in right here. A bunch of shelves. Uh, once again, everybody, this is a late production 2020 Forest River Cherokee 264 DBH. This trailer weighs 6,400 pounds, so you're going to be able to pull this with almost all of your half-ton pickups and large SUVs. We are Paul Sherry RVs in Pickwell, Ohio. Come visit. Shopping for an RV can be very difficult. There's so many makes and models to choose from, and how do you ever know if you're going to get a good deal on what you're buying? My name is Mike Sherry and I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. Our goal is to make your RV buying experience as fun and painless as possible and of course provide you with the best deal in the market. But don't take my word for it, go online and read all of our reviews from happy customers of ours. Feel free to call, email or chat into us with any questions you might have.